Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. So, I've got Arwen here. Uh, I don't think we did a video about this, but I know I put it on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, this is our female southern white lip python, okay? Um, absolutely one of the most stunning species of, of animal, period, I believe, in the earth. She went missing. Okay, we had originally just kept her on the rack, which was our intention until she got big enough to, to need a cage, right? A bigger enclosure. Well, she immediately escaped from the rack. <laughs> um, easily. She, I, I don't see any scrapes on her head or on her nose, but uh, there must have been enough of a gap in the back, and she really wants to bite me. Um, that's why I've got the glove on. She, if I touch her with my bare skin, she will just bite and bite and bite and bite and bite and bite. Incessantly, she won't stop. When I first got her out, like when we unboxed her, she bit like 27 times. So I don't enjoy that. It's not really good for her teeth to bite like that. Um, she might bite my gloves, but usually she doesn't. She's actually gotten better. I've held her already six or seven times. I've tried to handle her a lot um, because of this. You know, we don't want her to get big and still be bitey like that. Anyways, she got out of her enclosure out of her tub, uh, even though it was closed and everything was supposedly correct. And it was devastating to us because she had, uh, we had just had our new baby rack arrive for ball pythons and those tubs slid open and we lost a bunch of ball pythons. Well, update, we have found everything. Um, no more missing snakes. Everything is here and accounted for and uh, none the worse for the wear. She's healthy. We've checked her over pretty carefully. Um, and uh, no sign of, she was only gone for like less than two days. Um, we ended up finding her. I, I came back in the middle of the night when it had been dark for hours uh, to see if maybe it would be easier to find her when she's kind of out and about. And she was, she was crawling around like on the ceiling. <laughs> so anyways, these are going to be their new enclosures for now. Uh, they're not huge, so they won't last for, you know, years and years but uh, should be, theoretically, escape-proof, which is apparently needed. Um, these are just, uh, what are these, Exoterras? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so we filled them with moss and, you know, some climbing things, because apparently they like to climb, because we found her, like, literally crawling across the ceiling. And, uh, yeah, so we got these enclosures set up. Um, and this is where they're going to live for probably the next, oh, hopefully eight or ten months at least they'll last in these. Um, you know, we don't have any larger enclosures ready yet. So hopefully they, you know, they, they seem to grow fast. We've only had them for like two weeks. They've eaten, she's only eaten twice because she escaped before we could give her the third meal. But uh, they seem to grow fast. So anyway, I just wanted to update everybody who had been, you know, worried about them. We got a ton of messages of people, you know, suggesting, you know, ideas for finding lost snakes. Uh, we really appreciate all that. But uh, I want you guys to get a close-up, but I don't want her to bite Liz behind the camera. I've been able to zoom in a couple times, okay. so. You can see why they're called white lip pythons. Oh, she's so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous animals. Um, oh, there's a fly buzzing around bothering her. So, yeah, that's what uh, is going on with the lost snake situation. Everything is found, you know. We've lost animals a few times, like that have escaped enclosures uh, before this. Uh, it had been a while, but uh, we've always found them. We've never had a reptile go missing and just never be found. Um, even as a kid, I had a corn snake that got out one time, completely my fault. And uh, I think my mom found him eventually, but it was a couple of weeks in that case. So they're tough, you know. If you're in a, a house that you keep relatively warm, uh, they're pretty tough. So if you guys ever lose an animal, uh, don't lose hope <laughs> because we have lost our fair share of them and we have always found them, um, lizards and snakes. So just keep searching. Oh, yeah, she's keyed in on my face now. But, uh, yeah, that is all for now. I'm going to get her I'm gonna get her put away and then we'll maybe get some, some shots of her inside the enclosure. I don't know if she's gonna like it or not. We'll see. I dare to see her get out of this. Right. All right, little baby. Ow. 
It actually didn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I just say ow automatically, even with the gloves on. But that's why I wear the gloves. She's a nipper. The male isn't so bad. Come on, baby. Come on. She's just going to start biting me like crazy. She's not going <laughs> to want to let go. She's like, no. Come on, we want to see you all beautiful in your new place. She's like, I just want to cling on to this weird glove and bite it. That's all I want. Oh, come on, Arwen. Come on, sweetie. The male is named Aragorn, by the way. This is Arwen. I'm assuming many of you will catch that reference. <laughs> I hope so. It was Gavin's idea, right? It was. Come on. She's just biting now. Hey, oh, don't be on. scared. I don't. I really don't want her to hurt her teeth. I know. I hesitate to use like the snake hook because if she's actually biting hard, and she bites the metal, she's gonna yeah, hurt her teeth on it. Know, if you get her like in the water, will she get off of you? <laughs> what I don't is she know. even doing? Does she know what she's doing? She no, she is no, not. She's like just she's biting doing. now. She's scared. Poor thing. I hey, know. it's okay. But it's all right. That's a light, sweetie. That is your sunshine. Anyway, I don't know how long sunshine. this is going to take, guys, so we might just uh, oh, oh. Yeah, sign off and see how this goes. But, uh, yeah, thank you for all of your kind words and suggestions and concerns. Um, we appreciated all of it, and everybody is back and safe now. And uh, we will keep you updated on these beautiful baby snakes as they grow. But until next time, we are the Reptile Barn.